So today we're going to discuss how to boost e-commerce in Europe and how to address consumer expectations in the single market. For consumer associations, it is crucial that we start looking at the single market from a consumer perspective. That means uh, bringing to consumers trust on digital services and digital products online. It also brings, means bringing more choice, choice in terms of products that they can access uh, online. Uh, if they want to subscribe to an offer in another member state in the single market, they should be able to do that. But most important, we also need protection. So to build this trust and to bring more choice, we also need to have a good level of protections in relation to any problems that consumers might have with products that they buy from other member states. There is a lot of untapped potential in the digital single market. And if we want our economies to be further boosted and exploit this untapped potential, then we definitely need to stimulate e-commerce by, on the one hand, ensuring that remaining unjustified barriers for businesses are removed, and on the other hand, ensuring we have consumer confidence, trust and protection in the internal markets. On the one end, you should improve uh, consumer law, make sure that we have the uh, uh, harmonized rule across the EU. On the other end, I believe that we should try to empower consumers, so to give them the chance to provide feedback back, you know, to have easy dispute resolution mechanism, easy redress mechanism, to make sure that there are rights and these rights will be enforced. I believe that in the medium run, the, the Commission and the EU institutions should try to find the courage to break down the national silos and create a digital single market uh, which by definition knows no borders. Well, e-commerce is growing fast and faster than ever. Uh, I think it's a good moment today to take stock of where we are. We had the digital single market strategy which is being unfolded as we speak uh, and it's always good to take stock and to see what has this changed and what will it change for business and consumers and will it also meet the challenges of the future and uh, there's a lot of data driven activities, platform driven activities, internet of things, artificial intelligence, lots of things that will change the game, the rules of the game both for business and for consumers. And so on the one hand, we're trying to make sure that, that business has the right environment to, to exploit these opportunities, but at the same time, consumers need to be fit for purpose as well and, and to, to be able to go along with business. There are a few barriers in terms of establishing trust uh, between the different parties intervening in a remote sector. Uh, there is a, a barrier in terms of cost, transparency and predictability also for all the players. Now, how can European regulation help uh, remove such barriers and make sure that there is a single market indeed uh, for the e-commerce growth to happen?